Hello and welcome to the Political Ranter Show. So, like many of you British citizens, I woke up today and saw No Deal Brexit trending on Twitter and I did a really little research and yes, this is video worthy because this is actually very terrifying. Basically today, the Tories released a 25 page document on how to prepare if the United Kingdom exits the EU without a Brexit deal. So we just crash out of Europe without a deal, that's what the United Kingdom is actually planning for. And the Tory Brexit Secretary, Dominic Rehab, has actually made a speech about how to prepare for it as well which is just relaying what was set out in the document so in this video i'm actually going to be responding to the document and responding to the key areas of the document to see what a no deal brexit actually looks like and what a disaster it would be for the country so first of all i would actually like to point out that the United Kingdom government planning for a no Brexit deal is actually disastrous in the first place because leaving an organisation that we've been a part of for 40 years, just crashing out of it with no deal, logically is the worst option we could ever actually come up with. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to cover is what a no deal Brexit might actually mean for the NHS. Now, the NHS is one of the most important institutions that we have in this country providing free healthcare for people who need it and a no Brexit deal might actually be crippling towards the NHS. So Lauren Gavhan, who is a advocate for the NHS, a huge advocate, tweeted earlier today that the reality of this deal might mean a long-term shortage of medicine and long-term shortage of medical devices for the NHS. As early as July, it was reported that the NHS is already planning for a no Brexit deal with stockpiling medicine. Now I'd just like to point out that in the 21st century in a modern medical institution that provides free healthcare for our citizens should not have to be stockpiling medicine in preparation for a no Brexit deal. And in October 2017, it was reported by the nursing times.co.uk that there could be a shortage of nurses in the NHS because not enough nurses are coming from overseas to actually work in the NHS. We wouldn't have a workforce if it wasn't for immigration and I think we need to realise that. And according to our trusty friends at fullfacts.org, September 2017, it was reported that EU nurses leaving NHS England outweighed the nurses coming to the country for the first time in over five years and this is very worrying because we already have NHS crisis shortage now so if you magnify that with the effect of no Brexit deal this could mean crippling crippling damages to the future of our national health service which might make it hugely difficult to protect. So I want to move on to the next thing which is money, trading and taxes. So the cost of using your credit card between the UK and the EU will likely increase and this is because the cross-border pay Payments will no longer be covered by the EU's recent surcharge ban. The one thing that is really worrying to me and probably the rest of the country and especially Brits living abroad is that Brits living abroad in the rest of Europe could lose access to UK banking and UK pension services without EU intervention and without an EU deal. And also if there is no Brexit deal there could be significant and major changes to VAT in the UK and the EU which practically in logical terms might mean that VAT between the two situations might rise. And as we know the UK has a significant amount of trading with the single market. If we do leave the single market without a trading agreement that could have massive effects to our economy which could have massive effects to jobs in the UK. The only way we can leave the single Single market successfully is if we have a trading agreement. It is not physically possible to leave the single market on successful terms and not have any long term ramifications to our economy without having a trading agreement if we're outside the single market. Also, I want to cover the effect that it could have on British farming because British farming and British agriculture is a huge supply line of British food. According to the document, British farmers might face a nine month wait in order to get the permission to export organic food to the rest of the EU which could be crippling to the industry and it might cause a lot of farmers to go out of business. Now the reason they might face such a long wait is because the packaging on organic food will have to be changed if there is no um, EU agreement and this is because of border regulations and this is because of border controls. Currently a large financial support of British agriculture is coming from our participation in the European agriculture policy. So in a event of a no deal I would suggest to the UK government is to find a replacement agreement which replaces this policy so protects British agriculture and basically make sure that none of us starve 
So the last thing I want to cover is the fear that we might lose a lot of vital workers' rights protections because of the government's previous plan to scrap the Human Rights Act of 1998. However, I don't think this is going through now. Basically, there has been no request from the UK government to set up a European Workers' Council, which basically guarantees workers' rights for people from the EU in this country. It seems like to me that the UK Tory government is actually using this as an excuse to water down a workers' rights and to water to down the protection that the Human Rights Act of 1998 actually gives us. Which is actually no surprise to me because if you look at the history of the Conservative Party and if you look at their history they have always been very anti-trade union and they have always been very anti these things. So I'm about to wrap this video up now but in conclusion a no deal Brexit could mean catastrophe for this country because of all the reasons that I've outlined. The only way we can make a success of Brexit is if we actually have agreements in all these areas because leaving the EU cannot be a no crash Brexit deal. So much of this country is linked to the EU and so much of what we've done over the last 40 years have been linked directly to EU policy. So the only logical conclusion that I can come to is that we have to have an agreement and a deal to leave the EU on successful terms. I can't even believe that the UK government is even considering a no Brexit deal and of course they don't want it to happen but releasing that 25 document paper today is just planned for the worst. We really need a new government and we desperately need new leadership in this country. So that is all for me today. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Have a great day.